Welcome back here at Powell's Park in downtown Chipley right now for the annual Relay for Life. This year, the Washington and Holmes County teams teaming up here at Powell's Park to uh, celebrate those survivors, commemorate those who are not, and more importantly, to educate those um, who are still here and uh, maybe sometimes who don't heed those uh, warnings. Uh, here right now with a couple of local beauties. What's your name? Charity Newsom. And what is your title? Miss Southeast International. Southeast International. Now, what area uh, does that encompass? That encompasses all of the southeastern states, Florida, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, North and South Carolina. Wow. Southeast United States. Wow, that's that's pretty strong. And, and what is your name? Um, Michaela Hicks, and I'm Miss Spanish Trail, Northwest Florida. Okay, and what area does that encompass? Um, around the Phoenix Springs, Ponce de Leon, Westville, all in that area. Now, how did you get involved to be out here today? Charity. Okay. <laughs> I asked her about an event to come, and um, she said this, and um, her and grandparents were actually walking, so we came and supported them. Charity, um, as part of your wearing the crown through that, that, that year, you have to participate in, right. in uh, fundraisers, nonprofit events. Would this qualify for one of those? Yes, sir. My platform for my pageant is actually literacy, but the American Cancer Society is really important to me since my grandmother is a cancer survivor and my grandfather is currently going through radiation treatments for cancer. Now, we were fortunate um, earlier this year, actually late last year, you came and spoke to our Chipley Kiwanis Club. Yes, sir. Told us about your efforts. Um, certainly a noble cause. How's it going? Is it a lot of work? Is it as much fun as you thought? It's a lot of fun. I actually this morning spent my day giving out books to first graders at Kate Smith. At Kate Smith? Yes, sir. What do you think about the fact that we're getting a new school? I think that's really exciting. I remember when I was in elementary school, they were talking about getting a new school then, but that was 15 years ago, so they really need one. So I think it'll be great for the community. Michaela, is this the first time that you've been to this particular Relay for Life? Yes, sir, it is. Is it the first time you've been in any Relay for Life? No, sir. I went to, um, last year, Holmes County just had one, and so I went to that one as um, Ms. Ponce de Leon. So you're from Holmes County, obviously? Yes, sir. What's the best thing about wearing the crown? I think it's just getting out and helping the community. You know, you're able to help people and be an influence and be a role model to other um, young girls. And what's the most challenging part? Um, probably representing your community well. You know, the spotlight's always on you and you just have to play the part and you have to be on your game all the time. Michaela, you caught sort of a break tonight because of the weather. <laughs> uh, in the past, we've had flooding rains and we've also had extremely hot days. So obviously your makeup is staying intact. So exactly. <laughs> it's not too bad. Charity, um, you've been to these events before, I know. Yes, sir. How's the weather tonight stack up against the other nights you've been here? Tonight is a perfect night. It's cool. It's not too hot. It's a great night to come out and support a great cause. And in just a couple of months, you'll be back on the same field uh, for the Watermelon Festival. Yes, sir. Uh, you'll have here. an opportunity to introduce yourself from stage here. Yes. When does your reign uh, stop? It will not be until after July, at the end of July, I compete in the Miss International pageant with girls from all over the world okay. in Jacksonville. So if I win, I'll go on for another year. And if I don't win, then I'll have had an amazing opportunity, but it'll be over in mid-August. Now, are you aware that there's going to be a July 4th parade in Wausau this year? No, I did not know that. Vernon will not be doing their July 4th this year. Okay. Uh, through a series of uh, circumstances, they're not going to do their parade, they're not going to do their festival or their fireworks. Mm -hmm. So we went to Wausau and they're going to do a July 4th parade. Do you think you'll participate in that? Yes, I definitely think so. Obviously, Watermelon Parade. Yes, of uh, course. Possum Festival, July 4th. Mm -hmm. you got a hot summer coming up. I know, it'll be very <laughs> hot, but it's worth it. Michaela, is this the first time that you've won a crown? No, sir, it's not. So you've won other titles? Yes, sir. Okay. You've been in uh, pageants all your life? Yes, sir, just about it. Really? Yes, sir. <laughs> now, is that you or your folks that got you into that to start with? Um, at first, it was my mom, and then I kind of hit a dry spell and stopped doing them. But then I got back in. Um, one of my friends was really encouraging me to get back in, and I really love it. It's a great way to give back to my community. Well, it was nice to meet you. Well, thank you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, already knew you, obviously. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, but thanks so much for taking the time thank to speak you. to us. I hope that you enjoy the rest of the evening. Do you plan on staying all night? Uh, probably not all night, but for several hours. They try to encourage people to stay all night. <laughs> they say after about 11 or midnight, that's when people start getting a little silly, and that's where some of the fun starts. Again, thanks so much for being here, and Thank thanks you. for taking the time to talk to us. Thank, Thank you. you. Here right now at the annual Relay for Life, uh, here uh, this year, uh, the Washington Homes event, 
Um, we're here in beautiful downtown Chipley at Powell's Park, right on the same field. In just a couple of months, we'll be celebrating the Watermelon Festival this year for some top notch. Uh, uh, national entertainment on a stage that will be right behind me. So make sure you make your uh, mark your calendars to join us here for that. Um, we're going to be uh, here the rest of the evening. We're going to show you some of the festivities. If you are watching this now, chances are you didn't make it, but uh, mark your calendars. About mid-May every year, they hold this event right here at Powell's Park, and the American Cancer Society can certainly use your help. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>